Welcome back to the MCRL Calgary. Starting a back-to-back -back here to get them to their fifth game as they're currently 2-1. and one. And there's only, actually, if I count including Calgary, there's one, two, three, and four, I think, if I counted correctly. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so there's only four teams who have only played three games. Still. As of me looking at the win-loss stats right now. So, almost every team is on to their fifth game at this point. So, we're going to have to do a couple more back-to-backs. I know maybe you guys don't like seeing the same team playing twice in a row. But, you know, we're just trying to get close to the, to the end of the season here because... I don't know if you know this or not, but I could be leaving for the military in March. So we're going to try and end this series before that happens. So you might see a little video spam of the MCRL, and I apologize for that. But that's just kind of what is going to be happening. But anyway, we're going to get into the game. As Dublin is going into their fifth game here and their win streak has ended they're coming off of a loss after going on a three game winning streak so we'll see how they respond after after that no coming in rex making a play he'll try and block his shot dublin coming very close nice and early here boom a chance that one goes way wide Rainmaker keeping it in for Dublin, but Rex is going to send it back over the line and into Dublin territory. Now we'll work it in off the corner. And now Heater a chance, and that one goes off the post. And Chipper sending it into the corner. Boomer can't get a foothold. Lost, lost traction there. Rex can't get, can't keep it in the zone. Boomer's going to send it out. Now the ball come off the boards back out to Boomer, and that one goes off the post. Oh, lots of posts getting hit here. Here's a goal, and Viper gets it. And the icebreaker is going to go to Dublin. As the Shamrocks take the lead. Looking to increase and get their fourth win and head into the second half of their season with a win, which I'm sure every team is trying to do such thing, and how the score? 2 nothing. Or Dallas right then and quick. So we are in, we are slowly approaching blowout territory as Dallas is piling on the pressure against Calgary here. But so I've yet yet see how Calgary responds and Viper shoots it on the empty net and he's not gonna miss that. There it's three nothing. And I I don't I, I don't wanna jinx Dublin, but I'm pretty sure because I've I've said this at points before and it turns out to not be a blowout, but I think it's I I I think it's gonna be a blowout this time. I think Dublin can pull off a blowout without you know almost surrendering the lead. You know I I think I think Dublin is the one team, if anything, that is capable of doing that. Now Rainmaker sending it on the goal. That one's gonna get blocked by Casper. Now bank off the boards. Casper not able to get control. And no Dublin players aren't able to get a shot away. Rainmaker gets one. That one's going to get stopped by Iceman. And Viper at center to keep the ball in the offensive end for the Shamrocks. Three minutes to go. Still 3 0. This heater sending it and sends it into the Dublin zone. It comes out to Iceman. Nice man will try to get a shot on that, but that one's going to get blocked. It'll get pushed around a bit in front of the Dublin net. Now Viper sending it in to the Calgary zone. That one gets blocked from Rex. Now off the board. Boomer sending it in. 
towards the Calgary net. Here comes Boomer. He'll leave it for Rainmaker. A shot. And that one gets stopped by Heater. Heater comes out to play it. He'll make the pass to Rex. Rex can't get it out of the zone. But the ball bounced off of his body. Out to center. Rainmaker slowly working it, working it back in towards the Calgary net. Now back in the goal crease. And that one goes sliding high up into the air. It comes back down for Slider. He'll knock it to the net, and that's going to be an own goal. Viper is going to get the credit for the own goal. And that one's going to deflect off of Iceman and into the net. And now Dublin will have the 4 0 lead. And this is definitely a good win for Dublin to give them confidence going into the second half of the season. I mean, not that they really needed it, but, you know, it's, I'm sure, it, it, it's, you know, they, they, I'm sure they want all the good feelings that they could get coming out of the, coming out of the league here. You know, I, I mean, I, I'd take a blow, if I was on the Dublin Shamrocks and I can get a blowout win every game, I wouldn't, no, I wouldn't complain at all. But obviously, that's not how sports work. I don't think that's possible. Oh my god, everyone's just getting blown up. It's chaos in the Calgary end. And uh, Viper comes out with the 5 nothing goal for the Shamrocks. And it, it's getting physical. Calgary's getting frustrated now. And then, like, they, they, I think they're, they know they're not going to win. So they're just trying to take a piece out of Dallas here. Or, or sorry, Dublin. And I think I might have... I apologize uh, to any Shamrocks fans potentially watching this and uh, accidentally calling them uh, Dallas, unfortunately. I, you know, I apologize for that. But, uh, you know, it, it had to be done. I move around in my chair is why not I, I mean at this point I, I don't really need to commentate I can just let the final 30 seconds play to be completely fair and all your slider score six nothing it's a blowout it it's a blowout it's uh, and, uh so it's 22 seconds away from a double shutout on, on top of that, 22 seconds to go. We'll get a shutout. Viper trying to keep it away from the net. And Calgary might finally get a goal here. And they do. Heater prevents the shutout. But doesn't prevent the loss. And it, with 10 seconds to go, that's probably going to be the only goal Calgary is going to get in this game. And their back-to-back -back is not going to get any easier. Here's goal number seven for Dublin. And Dublin's going to win it 7-1. Unless they can somehow... Unless they manage to get a face-off goal here in the next three seconds. Which, yeah, it's not looking likely. It is not going to happen. Dublin gets the 7-1 victory. And they complete their first five games with a 4-1 and one record. Calgary going to 2-2. Two and two. And... Oh, one, one thing's for sure. Their back-to-back -back is not going to be an easy one because they're going up <laughs> against... Uh, actually, who are they going up against? Boston. They're, they're going up against Boston, who, by the way, had 
are also three and one as Dublin are when they faced off against Calgary. So yeah, this is not going to be an easy back to back for Calgary in the slightest, but we'll see how they handle the squash.